<laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Which doesn't belong and why? Let's start with this one. Zach Taylor, Matt LaFleur, Brandon Staley, three members of the Sean McVay coaching tree, also known as the Kyle Shanahan coaching tree. Which doesn't belong and why? Uh, I got to go with Brandon Staley there. I think that's pretty obvious, right? I mean, first off, Zach Taylor's been to a Super Bowl. Matt LaFleur's been to two NFC championship games. It was a number one seed. Brandon Staley has just gone for it on fourth downs and helped his team not make the playoffs so far. So that's all I can look at there. I like Brandon Staley and almost everything he does, except, yes, all that analytics, fourth down stuff to me was reckless and, and cost their team a, a spot in the playoffs. I'm going to go far more literal and basic than that. Staley's not even on the tree. He's not on the tree in the same way Wade Phillips wouldn't have been on the tree. He's the defensive coordinator who runs the entire side of the ball that Sean McVay doesn't pay any attention to. He's not part of the tree. You're only part of the tree <laughs> if you're learning from Sean McVay, right? Brandon Staley came in, took over half the team, did well enough with it that he became the Chargers head coach. So uh, it's not really part of the tree. It's like a separate bush growing over in the backyard. <laughs> Um, 49ers, Cardinals, Seahawks, NFC West teams that weren't in the Super Bowl and all three have quarterback questions, which doesn't belong and why? Well, I, I think I'm going to go with the 49ers here just because, like, yeah, the, they all have qu quarterback questions, but the 49ers to me, again, in the NFC Championship game and are a team that I just look at to be in a little bit of a different class than the other two teams right now. You know, there's, there's more than just quarterback questions with the other two teams. Seahawks, we got a whole bunch of questions. Cardinals, we – we talk about the offense and those issues and what are they going to do there, let alone, you know, the way they fall apart at the end of seasons and that. You know, the 49ers to me are a little bit of a, a different caliber of a football team. They are, even next year, I don't know who's going to be the quarterback. You know, I expect it to be Trey Lance, but I think they're, you know, still going to be a Super Bowl team even with Trey Lance because I think Shanahan will find ways to still make that offense good with him. I agree with you on the 49ers, and I, I just have this weird feeling Tom Brady's going to be the quarterback week one of the 2022 season. You're not alone. I just, I, it just, it, once the Buccaneers make their arrangements with another veteran quarterback and it makes Tom Brady irrelevant to that team, that's when the opening is going to emerge, I think, for the 49ers. Ravens, Steelers, Browns, AFC North teams that weren't in the Super Bowl and all three have quarterback questions, which doesn't belong and why? Well, the Ravens are the team because the Ravens don't really have – I mean, they have a contract question with Lamar Jackson. But I still look at the Ravens as a quality football team that didn't get in the playoffs. But as we discussed a lot, like, they were ravaged by injuries. They have some excuses a little bit, in my opinion. Lamar Jackson injury being one of them, but another a, a, a bunch of other key ones too to go along with that. You know, the Browns, you know, they were as talented as anybody in football and just underwhelming and didn't do good. The Steelers, you know, good but got some other issues too, let alone quarterback. We know offensive lines and some things like that. So uh, I say the Ravens. What do you say there? Um. I, I, I just say the Steelers right now because I don't know where they are. I don't know what yeah, they're doing. Right. I, don't, I don't know how to feel about them. Right. And and as, as long as Mason Rudolph is the top of the depth chart at quarterback, I have no faith in the Steelers for 2022. I would agree I with that. I can at least get behind the idea of Baker Mayfield for one more year in Cleveland. Lamar Jackson is Lamar Jackson. And if he's injured or whatever, Tyler Huntley, Mason Rudolph, I, I, got, I got nothing for you, Steelers, if Mason Rudolph is your answer for 2022. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.